let's reduce the amount of remodels that are required on kitchens due to floods. I've got three causes I'm going to share with you and three uh, preventative um, recommendations, including one bonus recommendation at the end of the video. Welcome to Kitchen Math Experts. I'm Shad Johnson. Um, over the last 30 years, I've um, remodeled scores of um, kitchens due to um, floods. And um, I want to try to offer some, some advice and some tips on how to prevent those from happening or eliminate them in some cases. Your three main areas for floods. Number one is your sink area. Um, the fridge water line connection as well. And finally, the dishwasher. So my first recommendation is going to be um, make sure that your flooring goes underneath all your cabinets. The reason for that is because it's very common to run flooring up to the cabinets and then to the openings of the fridge, the range, the, the dishwasher areas. However, when that sink drips and causes water buildup underneath that cabinet, it's going to build up in an area where there's no flooring if you do that. That's going to build up and cause damage um, to the cabinets, to the flooring possibly, and to and maybe to your subfloor in your um, in your house and more. Uh, maybe go downstairs if, if you have a basement or a floor below that. So what that flooring does, it allows that water as it builds up to come out into the kitchen, into an area where you can see that. Um, next, check the connections on your fridge water line regularly. Now, if you have a freestanding fridge that you can just pull out from the space, and check that connection maybe put on your list of things to check just like you do your uh, batteries with your smoke detectors maybe every six months um, however if you have a built-in refrigerator that's a little bit more difficult so that's my third tip a lot of the modern day um, higher end dishwashers and i think you're seeing some of the midline mid-range dishwashers also are incorporating basically a tray below the areas where the water drips with a sensor in it so that when the water hits a certain level it turns off the dishwasher to prevent a flood. All right, I promise you a special one at the end. And the special one is in the sink base um, is an angled tray that is plastic or um, I can't remember what material, composite uh, material. It goes in the sink base, it has a slightly higher level in the back of the sink base than the front. So water will then drip out through the front onto the floor in the kitchen. So again, you have a chance to see what's going on and do what you can to prevent the damage from um, spreading throughout the kitchen. I hope you like the ideas. If you do, please subscribe. You know what to do. Um, and then, of course, share. Maybe you've had experiences with this and you want to share your nightmares. Um, this is this prevention prevents not only money, but time and heartache and, you know, having to move out of your house or lose um, valuable sentimental items. Hopefully this will help you and prevent some of those from happening. Um, thank you so much for watching.